So assignment three is out since yesterday. Uh, and it is the individual assignment, which means that needs to be done individually, alone, not in group, and also delivered alone, not in group. Um, this is due November 26, so in two weeks. And it works like this. So there is an organization part and a actual operational in evaluation. The organization part is split in two parts. So the group is welcoming evaluators and needs to prepare something for the evaluation of the paper prototypes. An individual is then going to the group and to do the evaluation. So as a group, you must receive at least one heuristic evaluation per paper prototype. That's the minimum. And you will likely receive three, four evaluation in total, because the number of people and the number of groups. Hmm? Um, so try to receive a three, four evaluation in total. That means a couple for each prototype, two for a prototype, one for another, three, four overall. And each group is responsible for finding the evaluators. Um, during the evaluation session, one of the group will act as the computer and the other one as the facilitator. So if you are in four in a group, you can easily split two plus two and parallelize two people work on a paper prototype and the other two people work on the other paper prototype. If you are in three, you cannot. Uh, as explained in the class, the computer will manipulate the piece of pro prototype and the facilitator will greet the evaluator, will explain how the session work and especially provide the evaluator with information to start the evaluation. And these information are the three tasks, the overall solution, and any context that is needed. For instance, you are acting as an high school teacher. This application is for international students coming in the city for the first time. Context. Hmm? Just to better understand the domain where the application is um, working. That's the group. As a group, you need two people, for each prototype, the paper prototype printed out with all the pieces, the three tasks, uh, the solution that you have identified and some contextual information that you want to provide to the evaluator to better understand which is the context they are working it. The evaluators, must perform at least one heuristic evaluation or another group paper prototype. Hmm? And the groups are responsible, so you are all responsible for finding a group to evaluate and evaluator for your uh, group. Hmm? And you can do it within your slot. Hmm? So how the individual evaluation work? First of all, you have to schedule a session with another group. Again, you have two Wednesday to do this. You can use the hours in the lab, or you can decide to schedule time outside of those hours for whatever reason. Hmm? It's not mandatory to do during the lab. It's mandatory to do before November 26. Uh, otherwise, you don't have the individual part of the exam recorded. Um, the other group will choose which prototype 
and give you all the needed information to conduct the evaluation. And if you evaluate more than a prototype, it must be of a different group. So I can evaluate prototype number one of group A, and then I cannot evaluate prototype number two of the same group. I will need to switch group. Hmm? Switch prototype and switch group. So max one prototype per group as an evaluator. At that point, you have to conduct a heuristic evaluation for the prototype. Again, with the information shared by the group and applying the 10 heuristic by Nielsen that we have discussed last week. Uh, and you must use the prototype according to the three tasks you received. Just the three tasks you received. Uh, and you have a template here as a Google Doc for conducting the evaluation and taking notes. And the final version of that, pro uh, that document, so that is a template. You can download the template, copy the template. And then the final version of the template must be submitted by the deadline for uh, your evaluation. And while doing the evaluation, keep the list of heuristic in front of you while uh, using the prototype and take plenty of notes. And the template will guide you, but basically you have to specify which heuristic each problem you found is related to. And you can also say this problem is not related to any heuristic. It's just a non-heuristic problem. And then add a rating to each identified problem by applying the severity rating from 1 to 4, as discussed in class uh, last week and then focus on giving feedback on the available functions rather than pointing out missing functionality of the um, of the prototype and that's it you go individually to another group you evaluate the prototype you write your, your, your report according to the template and you submit it by the deadline what means submitting? Means uploading the report in an A3 folder in your own group repository. Mm? So I am group number one, I'm evaluating group number two. I will upload the report of my heuristic evaluation in my own group, so group number one, not the other group. Mm? Of course, you don't have permission to write in another group repository. And this assignment will be evaluated in the version that is submitted. So whatever change after the 26th of November will be ignored. If you don't submit by the November 26th, end of the day, you will get a zero point for this, because there is no submission. So the version you submit is the version that is evaluated and there will be no chance to change to that document. It's one shot, and you get the score you get for that individual evaluation. So try to do it well. Uh, if you evaluated more than one prototype, it may happen, pick the one you preferred and submit the evaluation of that prototype. Hmm? You evaluate two prototypes, two different groups, you like one more because it has more heuristics, more violation, then submit that one. Hmm? Uh, you must submit only one report. After the submission, share the report, both reports, uh, with the group you conducted evaluation because that is information for the other group to build on and improve the prototype for the next iteration. And here there are the grading criteria, as always. In this case, are the grading criteria that apply at the date, at the cutoff date of the assignment. Mm -hmm. So the template is split in these areas. Uh, description of the evaluated project, execution, violation, summary and recommendation. And each has a percentage associated. So you have to describe which is the project you evaluated and the description is accurate and clear. Uh, you have to write how you executed the process, the evaluation process, 
and that should be well written and clearly. We should be able to understand that you correctly perform the aneuristic evaluation. We are not going to trust you that you did properly. We need to write, we need to read what you did. Hmm? So you need to write what you did. We cannot read your mind yet. The violation should be a good percentage of violation, should be variety and no repetition. There should be ideally some less obvious violation in addition to maybe the common one, the obvious one. The description of violation are clear and easy to understand. The motivation for each violation is clear and valid. And the list of violation is organized as not a mess. And then in the end, there is a summary of the evaluation so that the summary is error free. And there is a general impression reported. And the recommendation and the feedback are also not about the violation per se, but are richer than that. Hmm? And all of these is actually exemplified, I can show you, in the template. that you can copy, there is, well, part one doesn't get points. I hope not to, have to insert points for your name. Uh, project description, a concise description, one, two sentences of the project you're evaluating. Hmm? Execution, summarize how you conducted evaluation, where, using which material, following which step, you have to demonstrate to have performed correctly the heuristic evaluation. Then list of evaluation, there is a template to follow, and an example also to show how it should appear. And then summary recommendation, there is a table that say how many evaluation for each heuristic you found. One, two, three, four, that's counting the previous list. And write two, three paragraphs covering general impression and any recommendation you have for improving the interface. So this is the report, fill in, that you have to submit by the deadline. And this same report, in either the final version or in a draft version, is something you have to give to the other group. And I'm saying in a draft version, because maybe you evaluate more than one prototype, and so you have one final Polish report that is the one you deliver, and one that is instead more drafty, because you don't have to deliver it, but still you need to provide the other group with this information. Okay, so this is a template. You can copy and paste co and download, etc. Yes. Yes, your group of four people can find other, can find all the evaluators from another group, and vice versa. The other groups can. Ex the important thing is that each evaluator just see one of your prototype. Okay. Any other question? Yes. So we, it's easier if you do in your slot because the three, uh, the three hours on Wednesdays are, you are there in the same room with other people in your slot. So you can use these three hours for actually, you have to use these three hours to actually you do the evaluation. So otherwise you will not have anything to do. If you, other groups also needs your evaluation is not mandatory that you just evaluate your own slot. Of course, in your own slot, you know <laughs> better the team, you know better the processes going on, so it's somewhat easier for you and the other group to, um, to give a clearer evaluation, simpler in a way. But it's not prohibited, let's say. Anything else?
Okay.